Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to Indie Month, the month where I play 31 different indie games. Oh, how funny it is. And we are up to number 6 now, I believe. And today we're going to be playing Orphan Age. And this is one of the games that I actually hadn't had on my list before I started. And uh, I even got it later on. So, yeah, I'm here playing it. It's a substitution for another game. Uh, you know, it happens. I'm not gonna let you know which game that was because right now I can't even remember. There's 31 games and I had like 70 plus on the list. It's, it's hard to remember all of them. Anyway, let's go and let's talk about Orphanage some more. So, first things first, let's talk about some details. This one is a bit different than uh, usual because it's still in development and early access comes out in this winter. So, I'm actually playing a demo version. You can get the demo version for free, you can download it from its Steam page. Uh, it, you can play it for like 30 minutes, and you can actually pause in between, it doesn't count down. But you can play it for 30 minutes and then plus extra 10, I believe, you subscribe to their newsletter. So there's that. Uh, it's on Kickstarter currently, trying to get the backers, and I think it got plenty uh, so far, because the idea behind the game is actually brilliant. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the details. So yeah, no, uh, no release yet. Uh, it's gonna come out to early access this winter, apparently. Uh, it's developed and published by Studio Black Flag. And of course, it doesn't have any reviews yet because it's not yet out on Steam. And that's why we can't even talk about price yet. So th that is fine, it's okay. You know, you don't, we don't always have to talk about things like that. I do like to play uh, games that have not even been out yet, but anyway. Let's jump into the game, what it's all about. So basically, it reminds me a lot uh, about uh, this war of mine. Like, that's a game I really, really enjoyed. I really enjoyed playing it. I played through it multiple times in the past. It's, it's a great game, it's a beautiful game, and it touches you in, uh, in a certain way. What can I say? And this one, this one has the same, like, social importance. Because basically what it is, it's a... Uh, well, uh, let's let's read this what the steam says is a dystopian life sim game where you play not as the soldiers of war but as the children left behind so basically you play as the surviving children like you start with two kids if you play through the single player mode and there's also going to be a sandbox apparently so you know that's something to look forward to uh, because i always prefer sandboxy experiences to you know classic scripted single player but anyway there's war, because wars always happen on this planet, that's, you know, to be expected, especially if you watch my EU4 games, you know that wars happen all the time. But enough of that, kids are always the ones that suffer a lot. So, this time around, we are in a, I don't know, it's a besieged town, it's a town that's basically in war, and uh, we're just kids, our parents are dead, and we're trying to survive. It's horrible, everything is in ruins, you basically start in uh, just one room with a lot of debris and nothing else, so you try to, you send your people out there, you send, well, people, you send your kids, because you have to, you send them to try to just go through the debris, find something useful, you know, food and medicine is amazing if you can find it, of course, but how about some wood so we can even start a fire, how about some plastic pots so we can maybe start a way to make our own food or something or just store the food that we find out there how about we get some rags just dirty dirty rags out there and we can make a makeshift bedroll with them how about that you know so we can at least make a campfire maybe and get some heat going <laughs> you know that's just the details the details of this like war-torn city or country or whatever it is and the children left behind in the squalor it's, it's what makes this just amazing. I mean, I only played the demo, and the game is far from finished yet, but the premise is just amazing. I must admit, it touched me in uh, in different ways. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing actually this like properly when it, when it comes out. But I think for our indie month, it's gonna be one of, the, one of the better games, I'd say. Anyway, let's talk a bit more about the children. So, you have kids. Uh, I know that you can go out there and look for other survivors. You can grow your well, colony of kids, if you talk about it like that. You can you can talk about it like colony sim as well. Uh, but yes, uh, kids have their hunger meter. They have their health meter. They have their uh, 
uh, sleepness meter and stuff like that. Uh, it, everything they do, it impacts their mental status. So let's say I had them actually go out there, well, out of their starting room and there were a bunch of corpses and they had to rummage through their uh, pockets to find something useful and they hated doing that. They felt terrible doing that. You know, everything like that actually impacts your kids and uh, I think that's, you know, it's a, it's a great... Uh, it, they did a really good job, the developers, how that is portrayed in the game. I think that's a great thing. So, um, you know, one thing I would say here, uh, their mood buffs like they're over their heads there's always like a mood buff how they feel it's very flashy and kind of hard to see but you know it's still like very early in the development so that might change as well there's there's some like very flashy scenes in the game where it's kind of hard to see sometimes but you know no no worries there and hey that's that's your kids as they do things they will level up they have like their strength their uh tech skill, they have uh, their cunning and social skill and uh, you can actually level up that uh, at the start of the game when you make your own character and uh, you spend points in that you spend points in that and uh, you have like a couple of points to spend and as you level this you, you know you start with uh, with uh, every skill is at F and then you go up to I don't know D plus, B minus, so <laughs> it's basically it's uh, what your grades were actually if you look at it because you can when you start playing you can pick up kids age from like 6 to 12 I believe how old they are and it also impacts their size and I guess later in the game it's gonna impact what they can actually do probably their strength as well because no one's gonna tell me that a kid 6 years old is tougher than a kid that's 12 years old well you know in most cases of course there's uh, differences as always they are so there's that uh, let's see what else do we have um, as I played to the single player it goes through like days and each day has some missions so like in the first day I had to gather this and this resources so we can actually uh, build like a picnic spot or well eating spot as it was called um, and that's where they would go to eat uh, that was my quest and then uh, we had to go and uh, build a wash area so they can go and wash themselves that was one other thing and as we as we progressed through the days then we had to go out of the out of our starting room and let's go scavenge the other room so we can maybe find a crowbar and we can go to like the door that leads to the outdoors or the other room and actually open that up so you know uh, you can you can progress like that and you do have research as well because at the start you don't know how to make a crowbar and you can also build a research table and then if you have a smart kid he's gonna think about things there I guess and uh, uh, learn how to make a crowbar let's say so you can you can do that as well you can either find it or make it it's uh, I don't know how many tools and stuff are gonna be like that hey you can find it or you can learn how to make it so you can reliably make it yourself but I guess there's gonna be plenty of things like that as you know I, I did compare it to this war of mine earlier and that that game works like that as well kind of so uh, what else did we have what else do we have uh, as I said you can go recruit other kids out there uh, there's like uh, other missions that you can go scavenge Again, kind of same as this war of mine. You can go out there and scavenge the the places, and the the longer you're out there, the tougher it might be to survive. I don't know. the The demo didn't actually give me an option to check that out how it works, but it was locked still. Uh, I guess I would need more time to play to actually get to that. Maybe if I play through the demo another time, like once more, and know already what I have to do, I would get through it faster so I would have more remaining time but that's okay that's no worries um, it's not as this war of mine was 2d this is 2.5 D basically because you can you can zoom in and zoom out and well it's almost 3d if you if you look at it but you know it's not kind of a first person stuff like that um, it's a strategy it's a simulation game kind of an RPG as well because you put points out there into your uh, survivors so kind of like that um, 
I don't think there's going to be any multiplayer uh, options or versions out there. I think it's only single player. At least that's what uh, the Steam page says for now. Uh, also, as I said before, as I mentioned before, morale plays a big part of what your kids can do. I'm guessing they can have like morale breaks or they can break because they do like stuff that they don't want to do for too long. Like, as I mentioned before, rummaging through corpses in their pockets and it, of course no kid is gonna like that. Maybe with time they can harden up and be gonna feel better about it or basically don't feel anything or maybe be able to suppress their feelings more but uh, of course there's gonna be different types of kids so maybe you can get kids in there that uh, are more ready to do stuff like that and there's kids that are just not ready to do that but they might be smarter so you would want to keep them home that they can do research or maybe they'd be good at crafting and they would craft for you uh, that's that's one thing that you can uh, you can do and uh, I'm looking forward to sandbox basically uh, because that for me that's where all the interesting parts lie because you know in sandbox you can do things your own way you're not exactly on a like a time frame or well, on, on rails because most single-player games are kind of on rails and don't offer you that much freedom but I do like freedom in my games I always do so um, yeah I'm looking forward to that uh, hopefully that's gonna be nicely implemented also I wanted to mention that the UI looks really well it's actually extremely well done uh, you have like on top left you have your uh, the guy that you have currently selected the kid they have uh, his skills and such uh, so you can see that his skills and his needs basically and then on top right you have all the resources you have you have food you have water you have medicine you have uh, the storage how much resources you can store uh, on the bottom left you actually have the bar with your uh, kids so you can uh, you can use one two uh, keys and so on to actually quickly select them if you tap that it's gonna go uh, the camera is gonna zoom in to that kid so uh, you can quickly select and tell them what to do because basically you select a kid and then you right click on a, like a pile of, of garbage and you click on search and they're gonna go search and then uh, slowly they uncover items in there and then if you click on the item it's gonna select it and the kids gonna carry it back but you can select multiple items in there at the same time then just gonna make a couple of trips and carry them all back you know slowly uh, they can't exactly carry more but they can do that and then on the bottom right you have uh, like your stuff like research you have your uh, building like you where you can build furniture uh, plenty of options there and I kind of forgot already what else there is you know classic options and stuff like that so uh, I, I like it it's kind of minimalistic it's um, all nicely in the corner so I kind of like that oh I did uh, forget to talk about uh, where the mission is uh, it's also like on the top right of the of the menu or the, of the interface and it's nicely placed there you can tell you what you can do or what you should be doing although although I think uh, at some point in the demo I kind of broke it because I think I completed one step before I completed like the step that I was supposed to complete so the game wasn't quite sure what <laughs> it's supposed to tell me what to do next but you know that is understandable because uh, well basically because the game is still in extremely early version so you know bugs and stuff like that of course will happen uh, you know it's, that's to be expected but anyway that is um, Orphan Age uh, I think it has a potential to become an amazing game currently you can get the demo and then you can support uh, the devs on Kickstarter if you so desire if you want to do that um, as always I talk about voting uh, for the game to play at the end of the month now this one might not be an option because I said it comes out it supposedly comes out uh, on Steam early access in this winter so I won't be actually able to make a full playthrough of it right away I did write to devs and uh, I'm gonna go into contact with them maybe they can send me their uh, version early on because I know there's like uh, closed beta or closed alpha right now that you can you can play uh, so maybe maybe I'm gonna do that but uh, I'm gonna let you know well uh, when 
basically I'm gonna let you know whenever this is all done and we can talk about what I'm gonna play but I'm pretty damn sure in the future I'm gonna return to this game I'm gonna play it whenever it's gonna be an early access and uh, I will be able to go and play sandbox I'm definitely gonna go back to it and play more of it because I think it has a potential to be an amazing game and you know me I like playing good games but anyway this is Orphan Age um, I'd say it's a great game and it has potential to be an amazing game as I mentioned like 15 times in this in this uh, video now but for now thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider dropping a comment down below share like subscribe and I see more doing magic and I'll see you next time go crowd